Hey guys, it's Rebecca August here. A lot of you guys are wondering what kind of gear you need to get into wedding photography. So in this video, I'm gonna show you the only seven things that you need to shoot your first wedding. So obviously the first thing you need is a camera. It doesn't have to be something crazy fancy. Honestly, it doesn't even have to be full frame, but the one thing it does need to have is two card slots. The reason why you need two is just so that you have a backup. So the camera that I'm currently using is the Canon R6. I started out on the Canon Rebel T3i, which is a crop sensor DSLR. Then I moved on to the 5D Mark III, which is a full frame DSLR and yeah, I upgraded to these just this past year. There's a wide range of cameras on the market from a wide range of price points. Some kind of more affordable cameras to look out for on the market are the Canon 5D Mark III's, Mark IV's, the Sony a7 III, Fujifilm X-T3. If you're looking to invest a little bit more, um, definitely look into the Canon R6's, the Canon R5's, the Sony a9 Mark II, the Fujifilm GFX 50S. I'll link a bunch of these and maybe some more in the description below for you guys to check out. So the second Second thing you're going to want to bring is a backup camera. The backup camera doesn't even have to leave your car or your bag unless you want to rock two bodies at once. Don't try to shoot a wedding without a backup camera. If something happens to your first camera, it's really important that you have a second on hand. And the backup camera doesn't have to be the exact same camera as your first one. It would be preferred just so that the colors match and it would save you time in post-production. But if you can't get your hands on the exact same one, try to find one from the same brand because their color science is going to be pretty similar. So the third thing you're going to need to bring is a lens. The lens I have right here is the Sigma 50mm. This is a super versatile lens. Essentially, you could shoot a whole wedding on this. Yeah, I picked this lens up at pretty much every wedding that I photograph. So the fourth thing that you're gonna wanna bring is a backup lens or a secondary lens. The one that I have right here is the Canon 85 millimeter. This lens is really good for getting those tighter candid shots of the ceremony or the reception without getting super close to people. If you're not gonna be just shooting on one camera and you're gonna have two cameras going, I would recommend going with the 35 and an 85. The two of them are a great duo and you'll be able to pretty much capture anything with them. The fifth thing that you're gonna need is a memory card. I like to shoot on the Lexus are professional memory cards. Most camera companies will recommend a specific memory card for your model of camera and I would definitely recommend researching that. But yeah, I've never had an issue with these ones and they seem to work great. I'll definitely include a link to some of the best memory cards in the description. So the sixth thing you're gonna to wanna to bring depending on how long you're at the wedding is a speed light. I've been using this Yong Nuo 600 EXRT for a few years now. It's really good. This is mostly for the reception, the dance photos, um, or if I find myself in a dark room throughout the day, I'll just turn this on and bounce it off the ceiling. Yeah, it can just help you provide some good light if you're in a tricky situation. So the last thing that you're gonna wanna bring to shoot your first wedding is a bag. Now you can use like a sling bag, a soft bag, a backpack, a hard case, something with wheels. It really depends on the situation that you're in. We use all of the above. I'll show you a couple of our favorites. We really like this sling bag from Peak Design. It's soft, it's compact, but it fits a lot of stuff. Jonah likes to carry this around all day and it's water resistant. I also really like my Think Tank bag. They make really good quality stuff. This is also a sling bag. It doesn't quite fit as much as the Peak Design one, but it's a really good option as well. I really like to use this Nanook card case. This is the Nanook 920. They're super durable, great company, made in Canada. Um, and you can fit everything that I've mentioned in this video in this case. So those are the seven things that you need to shoot your first wedding. Obviously your kit is gonna grow with time and I do bring more stuff than this, but this is all you really need to shoot your first wedding. Some other things that you can bring are reflectors, a dual harness, a little fix up kit for the bride with some hairspray, snacks, bobby pins, that sort of thing. But if you guys wanna see a more in-depth video on some pro tips and some wedding day hacks and what else is in my bag, let me know in the comments below. So thank you guys for watching. Let me know in the comments if this was helpful or how your first wedding went. I'd love to connect with you guys. Shoot me a DM on Instagram. Our Instagram name is at the August. I'll see you guys in the next video.